busted. Look at that. Big old cat. So today is going to be an interesting day, which I'm kind of lot running, running a little late too. Yeah, it's 9.15, so I should be heading out. So today I get the honor of meeting the governor of uh, my state, Jay Ensley. I accidentally punched my cat while he was trying to jump in the window. I get to meet Jay Ensley today. Uh, I honestly don't know much about him or what he may or may not have been doing since he's been our governor. Didn't even know he was our governor or who our governor was, which is pretty bad, I know. But I get to meet him today as an honor because ooh, that lighting is so bad because I was volunteered or asked really if I'd not mind, I guess, to go meet him at his event that he's having today at UW of Tacoma. So I'm going to meet a governor today. This will be the second governor I think I've met. Um, I'm not sure if she was our governor back then, but Christine Gregoire, I think, was a governor. Uh, back when I was younger, I did get to meet her, shake her hand, and all that jazz, so. Not the first governor I've met, and uh, I feel like I'm not like one of those typical people that go all crazy when they meet somebody famous. Uh, I just treat them as like anybody else. I apparently met this one dude that was an opener for Macklemore once, and I don't know. I'm just not starstruck. <laughs> I don't get starstruck like some people do. I need to head out because I need to get some cash for parking, so you'll see me back in a bit. Man, ain't she a beaut. Drove her the other day, but... You know, gotta take this one today. Better on gas. Plus, don't have to worry about it being keyed or scratched up by somebody stupid. You gotta get some gas at some point, too. Alright, so back in the car, heading to work before I head to this event. So, one thing I wanted to mention was that... Well, I forgot what I was going to mention. I was thinking about it earlier while I was in... 7-Eleven trying to get some change for parking at uh, UW. So I forgot what I was going to talk about. It was something along the lines of, uh, oh, I remember now. It was about how people are have seemed impressed about me meeting Jay Inslee or like, you know, excited about it. And I just, I don't feel that kind of excitement about meeting him, which is probably bad, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've met so many famous people in my life that doesn't phase me anymore. Plus, from what I understand, his talk today is going to be about how he's going to add more to the state Washington State Need Grant. I think he's going to rename it today or something. So, my other thing is that the, the thing that he's doing with the grant won't go into effect until like 2020 or 2021 or something. So it's not even going to affect me because I should already be done and out of school by then. So that kind of sucks. I'm a little, I guess you could say bitter about that because I wish I could benefit from it, but I won't be benefiting it from it. But I'm glad that future and you know current students that will be in school still around that time will be able to benefit from it. So I guess I can be happy for them that they won't have to struggle as much as I have to struggle. So there's that. and. In my career field of choice, you know, programming, .NET developing, actually, uh, I should make a comfortable amount of money to where student loans shouldn't be that big of a deal for me. From the average in Washington, I should probably be able to pay off my student loans entirely in two years, which isn't bad. Two years is not bad at all, uh, especially because I'm not, I haven't been accruing student loans up until recently, actually. I think this last quarter was when I first started accruing student loans because I was lucky enough to get away with FAFSA with the uh, Pell Grants and stuff, which from my understanding, you don't pay back Pell Grants. So there's that. I mean, yeah, I'm a little upset that I won't be able to get the state need increase that they're doing, the changes, the positive changes that they're making, but future and current students can't so that's fine with me I guess got to share the wealth I don't want people to struggle as much as I've struggled you know got to be humble so yeah there's that uh, I just wanted to say I'm not all that enthused about meeting him I mean it's cool I guess I'm honestly not sure what the benefit for me would be to meet Jay Inslee I don't think it would help me 
progress any further in life than I currently can on my own without meeting him, you know? It's one of those things where I just kind of wonder what the benefits are. And I guess the benefit is seeing him, maybe having a picture with him, but I don't necessarily think that job interviewers will be all that impressed and think, wow, we got to hire this guy. He met Jay Inslee. He met our state governor. We got to get him in here. I don't think that would be the case for pretty much, you know, much of anything. I guess I could put it as an accomplishment on my uh, resume. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just don't think it would make that much of a difference. But it is cool. It's an honor to meet somebody like him. I just wonder if I could have spent that time doing other things to progress my future a little more. Like, what I really want to get into right now is learning Swift because there, the demand for iOS developers has been increasing, at least I think, because, you know, more people are more connected nowadays with their phones, so more p companies and whatnot want to reach more people. Um, how do you reach more people in the world that are, was Apple's last report, like over a billion iPhones sold? Ooh. <laughs> How can you reach more people than that than something that's in their pocket or in their hand constantly, you know? So that's a major market and this is going to be a, an ever-growing market. So I really want to get into Swift development soon if I can ever get the time and remember to do it and probably even have the energy to do it because uh, it's hard. I never knew that I had sleep apnea. It's very suspected that I have sleep apnea now. Because I probably put on too much weight, and sleep apnea sucks. It really drains you during the day. You, you never really feel like you get enough sleep, and it sucks. You're always feeling tired and drained, but that's a totally different thing. Um, I guess my advice to you is if you're constantly feeling tired and drained, even though you should have gotten enough sleep, or you feel like you should have gotten enough sleep, probably look into seeing if you have sleep apnea. I'm not sure what can really be done outside of getting one of those CPAP machines to help you sleep at night but you know that's probably something to look into you know I should be looking into it pretty soon I probably will after I start getting my allergy shots which I'll be vlogging that too for that experience so people who are interested in getting allergy shots they can kind of know what to look forward to I'm trying to get the because there are different ways of getting the allergy shots you can get them where they can do rapid succession of shots where you can or you only do like two sessions of shots or you can do them in multiple sessions with like a few weeks to like several months long yeah so i want to do the fast one because i'm impatient and that's probably the most dangerous one to do but i feel like it might be worth it so there's that i just want to talk a little bit about me jay Inslee, and how i guess i'm kind of excited but kind of not but it is an honor nonetheless that not many people get so I am thankful for that at least anyways I'll catch you later I don't know if I'll vlog some more later like while I'm actually at the event probably not while I'm actually at the event I don't know yet depends on what the setup is going to be like but you might hear from me later I guess we'll see by the off chance that you don't, I hope you enjoyed this short vlog. And tell me what you think below about meeting famous people. Are you one of those people that get a little starstruck when they meet somebody famous? You know, kind of freak out, get really excited, or are you kind of with me where you're just like, eh, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but you're just a person like anybody else, you know? So tell me what you think down below. Consider subscribing to the channel because I like to do some vlogs here, talk about tech and gaming whenever I can. Hopefully in the near future, once I start actually programming and making a career, I'll have more money to put towards tech that I want to review and talk about, and compare and show off. Well, not like show off, show off like, hey, I have this and you don't kind of deal, but like show the features and what it can and can't do compared to previous generations or what, you know, things like that. Things that are helpful. Anyways, I'll catch you later. It's time to get to work pretty soon. Bye.